There is nothing more blessed than when you're leaving the home and you've got that banner over your head and you've got that angel behind you and in front of you and the angel on top of your head with the reins. And what's going to determine what those angels do and say is the intention that you have as you go out into the world. That intention is to seek knowledge that brings you closer to the Creator, whether that's in the form of going to a halaqa, going to a, a gathering of knowledge, going to a teacher, going to a classroom, whatever it is to leave your home with the intention of seeking or spreading knowledge is the most noble pursuit that we find in the Sunnah of the Prophet He said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, whoever seeks out a path of knowledge, Allah will make the path to paradise easy for them. He said, no one leaves their house seeking knowledge, except that the angels lower their wings in approval for that person. There are many a hadith, the, the most famous one, the hadith that Ibn Rajab Rahimullah wrote the entire book about this hadith, that as a person goes out seeking knowledge, the inhabitants of the heavens and the earth all seek forgiveness for that person. Whether it is the angels in the heavens or the fish in the sea, each one of them seeks forgiveness for that person as they go out seeking and spreading knowledge. The Prophet ﷺ said the superiority of the scholar over the worshiper is like the superiority of the full moon over the stars. And he said وسلم, in another narration that the likeliness of a scholar over a worshiper is like my similarity to you, is like my rank over the lowest of you, meaning the lowest of the Ummah of Muhammad وسلم. Why? Because the seeker of knowledge, the scholar, the one who spreads knowledge, spreads good in the same way that the angel spreads their wings. So you spread good throughout the earth. And there are many different things that the Prophet ﷺ mentioned, of course, in that narration also, and I didn't go through it in depth, that the prophets don't leave behind dirhams or dinars, but they leave behind knowledge. That's the inheritance of the prophets. So it's a means of connecting you to Allah because you learn about Allah a means of connecting you to the Prophet ﷺ because you become an inheritor of the Prophet ﷺ, a means of connecting you to the angels because they lower their wings in approval for you, spread their wings out, and a means of connecting you to the people because your relationship with them is benefiting them and even the environment. Because Ibn Rajab Rahimullah commented on that, what would cause the fish in the sea to seek forgiveness for that person is that a person of knowledge thinks about the rights of everything on them. And so they treat even their environment with care because they're acting in accordance with that knowledge. And that's embedded within this. So the example of a person who seeks and spreads knowledge to the one who worships Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is like someone who earns halal, which is good, and someone who spends fi sabirillah, spends in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right, so spreads that good. And a lot of time when you're thinking about going out to seek knowledge, you're thinking about dedicating years of study, which is good. And we need people that are able to go out and to spend years studying the sacred knowledge and then teaching it properly. But just the blessing of going out for one pursuit of knowledge, right? Instead of watching it live, taking the time out to go and seek knowledge. If you don't feel like you're going to gain so much from the way that the Sheikh is speaking and, and, and those types of things are not as charismatic or as exciting as something you'd see online, then go for the blessing of having the angels lower their wings for you and having all of these creations seek forgiveness for you. At the top of them, those highest angels sending their peace and blessings upon you, showing their approval and their humility to the person who is learning, becoming more humble and being beneficial to everything around them.